Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So I wanted to post a little bit of a quick update uh, to the story that we covered a couple of days back about this solar observatory in New Mexico that was suddenly shut down by the FBI under totally mysterious and unknown circumstances. Nobody has any answers as to why it was shut down. Uh, the local post office, which is next to the observatory, was also closed and evacuated. And if you didn't see my original video, well, here's just a quick breakdown of the timeline of events here. Last Thursday, on the 6th, the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, who manages the facility located in Sunspot, New Mexico, also known as the National Solar Observatory, said that they were, quote, addressing a security issue and that they were vacating the facility at that time as a precautionary measure and that there would be no timetable for when the observatory would be reopened. Now, as I said, it was very quickly made known that the FBI was involved with this, who in turn did not even tell the local sheriff about this or the reason for the closure, with the sheriff having said, quote, the FBI is refusing to tell us what's going on. We've got people up there at Sunspot that requested us to stand by while they evacuated. Nobody would really elaborate on any of the circumstances as to why. The FBI were there, and what their purpose was, nobody will say. But for the FBI to get involved that quick and be so secretive about it, and the fact that there was even a Black Hawk helicopter sighted and a bunch of people around antennas and work crews on towers, but nobody would tell us anything. And once again, it wasn't just the uh, solar observatory, uh, which by the way, as I said in my original video, these solar observatories are specifically utilized to take images and monitor our sun, whereas other observatories monitor all of space and the universe. And so the observatory to this day is still closed. Nobody knows why. Along with the post office, the whole area was evacuated. Roads roped off. And so originally in my uh, first video, I thought, well, okay, well, is it possible that this observatory was snapping pictures of our sun and encountered and or recorded some sort of spacecraft or object that the local authorities did not want released to the public and that maybe that was why they also closed the post office because they didn't want there to be any means of delivery of said evidence should they attempt to send it or ship it somewhere. So that was one theory. Could they have recorded something up in space or near the sun? So then we have other theories, such as that uh, just around the time that this happened, there was a massive hole that was opening up on the sun's corona, putting us on alert and on watch for a potential geomagnetic storm. In fact, the NOAA uh, issued a storm watch for a G2 level solar storm on September 11th. But still, I don't think that would explain just one solar observatory closing. We have observatories all over the place, so why not close them all if they were trying to hide some sort of massive power grid busting solar storm? Now, another theory which has been featured on some other channels here on YouTube, kind of going back to the possibility of some sort of uh, unidentified object passing by the sun. Well, some people have been posting videos of what appeared to be a massive circular object seen traversing across the sun in Soho imagery. And while this uh, footage here does seem to indicate that something massive and circular passed in front of the sun, right around the time frame that this area closed, uh, what we're actually seeing here is a, a, a simple and a totally natural lunar transit where uh, our moon can be seen slightly passing in front of our sun. So once again, this theory can be ruled out, at least with this specific footage here. So just to recap real fast so far, all of the theories that I've pretty much found was that it could have been a UFO that they captured. Uh, it could have been something having to do with a geomagnetic storm. Um, it also could very well have something to do with um, a prank or, or something that was called into the observatory. Although, as I stated before, I would think if that were the case, the national news would be all over it. They would release this information as they always do, and they, they would not be uh, being so hush as they are right now. 
So that doesn't make sense to me. And as I said, they'll probably come out with some cover story, and at this point, after so much secrecy, I would be highly suspicious of whatever story they do come out with as to why they are closing this observatory. Now, something else to note, I'm going to give you my take on why they potentially shut down this observatory. But it was also found out that at the same time that this observatory shut down, a number of online webcams also mysteriously went down for a period of time. These webcams and or space cams were the Axis 232D network dome camera in Sydney, Australia, the webcam located at the SOAR or SOAR observatory, the BRT Tenor Life telescope in Spain, the webcam located at Mauna Kea Observatory in Hawaii, uh, the webcam of the Canadian France Hawaii Telescope Observatory in Hawaii, as well as the webcam at the JAT Observatory in Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania. So, six webcams mysteriously going down. Now, make of that what you will. Does it have something to do with this solar observatory closing? I don't know. Only time will tell. But here is my take that I really haven't heard much about. Well, first of all, this area that this solar observatory is located is only around 130 miles away from the infamous Roswell site, Roswell, New Mexico. And what few also may realize is just how close this observatory is to both the White Sands Missile Range as well as Holloman Air Force Base. Uh, now, I did some digging here and I found out that regarding this specific observatory, the observatory was initially started at the end of the 1940s as an Air Force observatory for two specific reasons. The first being to test the location as a solar observatory, but also as a location over the White Sands Range, where they were testing some very secret things at the time. Now, the White Sands Range, as well as Holloman Air Force Base, this entire area of New Mexico is well known for documented UFO activity. Not just the fact do we have Roswell and Area 51, not too far from this observatory, but more importantly, the White Sands Range, where there have been documented evidence, eyewitness accounts for years now that some very unearthly looking things have been seen there, possibly being tested by the government there, as well as Holloman Air Force Base, and I'm showing you some maps here, where you can see that uh, White Sands, as well as Holloman Air Force Base, are directly in the line of sight of the National Solar Observatory, which is up in the mountains here, has a perfect view down over these two very secret testing areas. And while White Sands has been known for strange UFO sightings, Holloman Air Force Base is home to one of the most controversial uh, UFO incidents ever recorded, where it was said that in 1964, a legitimate bona fide alien ship actually landed down on the base. Uh, what was described as sort of this wobbling saucer shaped craft that slowly made its way down. It was caught on radar. It slowly made its way down to the base, landed where actual beings got out of the vehicle, disembarking from the craft and actually meeting and communicating with Air Force Base officials. And that not only did this happen, but that it was actually caught on film by a low level Air Force officer who captured the entire landing of the craft on film and the original film footage of that to this day is said to be locked away under extremely tight security. However, over the years, there have been a few select frames and uh, just a, a few seconds of that footage that have been said to have been leaked online as well as featured in some documentaries where people weren't actually told that this was actually the real footage. And you're seeing those frames and those few seconds here, which are said to be of the actual landing of the alien craft slowly descending down to the base on that day where we can see obviously some sort of white colored object slowly making its way down towards the base. Now, as I said, uh, this story has been featured in a number of documentaries. There have been a number of uh, uh, TV shows about it. Some people believe it's nothing more than an urban legend. Others say it was real. Aliens did land there that day. They did get out. They did communicate. It was captured on film. 
and that this uh, incident was only one of many unexplained occurrences that have taken place at Holloman Air Force Base over the years and White Sands Test Range. So my question is, did this observatory, which originally was set up so it could have a perfect view over this secret testing area, did the people there see something being tested? Did they see something landing? Did they see something that they were not supposed to see? And that is why they have been shut down. That is my question. There are many possibilities they could have very well seen something in space, so we can't rule that out. But it's also very possible, due to the location where they are in the middle of the desert, where nearby we have some of the most secretive bases, installations, and testing going on, I think it's fair to ask the question, did the people at this base see something that they weren't supposed to? And if not, what could it be? And why did these webcams to these other observatories around the world suddenly go down at the same time? Again, only time will tell. So, you guys put your theory down below. I'm sure we'll be getting more information. I I'm sure that a cover story is going to be put out any day now. So, stay tuned. We'll see what we find out. And I'll see you back in just a bit.